Hey guys, I want to share with you this quick smartphone UI simulation that I did. I used Microsoft PowerPoint and various images from the internet and balsamic wireframing tool. So here is the like phone simulation. And then uh, this would, the, that was lock screen. This is the home screen for this uh, example phone. And there are several apps you can actually go to the menus too. So here's uh, contacts. I control and click to actually go here, which is cool. Then this would be um, the web browser, so Chrome there. Then this would be the uh, clock app, so here's clock. I, I based everything like Android style, so um, this would be phone, so here's a phone. And it's, uh, it's cool that you can actually do this with PowerPoint. It's uh, kind of nifty, but the thing is you have to create the menu uh, menus like manually and um, bring the images in and uh, like, arrange them. So the way to create buttons is to set a link on an image. So if I had, or even text, uh, yeah, but this uh, image here, let's just say I brought it over from Balsamic wireframes. Now I right click it and you do insert link or something, uh, but I can actually edit the link and then it would do that by default. But then you want to say uh, place in this document and then uh, where you'd like the link to go. So that was the uh, contacts thing. So I would put that slide seven. And now when I right click, um, what was it? When I control and then click, then I actually go to slide seven. So that's how it uh, works. It's kind of neat. And you can do this for lots of different buttons. So the home button takes me back to the home screen. And uh, I preset this, but this is the menu button. And uh, that's slide 11. And this, um, if I click it again, this link is actually different. Um, each each image has its own link, and this square will actually bring me back to contacts on page seven, which is I think is kind of neat. You can do these things. Uh, phone. Oh, and this image on the phone menu will bring me to contacts on seven as well. So it's very cool. Um, so uh, let's see. Um, I used the shortcut Windows Shift S to do a screen snip. So you go like that, and if you mm. want to copy images and things, it'll save to clipboard. Um, and then you can do Control V to paste them. Uh, I used images from uh, Balsamic and uh, like uh, Google Images and Google Fonts or the icons. Um, and the stylized, oh yeah, the stylized text. So Roboto Mono was done in PowerPoint home and then you can change the font size and color and things. I think I tried to keep it black and white. It's a little rain cloud. The water's coming through. The water. Um, <laughs> I don't know. And uh, uh, yeah, there were this line and other images, this like square oval thing. Uh, it was done with, you can do insert and shapes, or I think it's home and shapes. And then you can just select from some shapes to put in and uh, you can select the order uh, so you can send that to back so that mean stuff in front you you can click easier and it won't click the behind image uh, as much I think uh, so yeah I didn't actually need to use balsamic wireframes for the like icons and image uh, images but I'd used this software before before for like wireframing my website and it has a decent roster of uh, like images. Let's see, is it icons? Yeah, that I can just uh, use from already. So um, I thought, why not? And then, so you can type in something like phone and that's actually the icon I used for phone. And then just Windows Shift does that. And then I'll put that here or something. Uh, so yeah, anyways, thanks for watching and I hope you liked this. Because uh, I did. I like this. <laughs>